Yeah. Hey guys, Shyam this side and welcome back to the channel. And today we have Raj with us. So welcome, Raj, and thanks, thanks for accepting the invite. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's that's a great honor to actually have a discussion with you because uh, it's been a long time I'm watching a video. So yeah, it's been a great yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. So okay, so let's start without wasting any time, Raj. So could you please little bit. brief about like your background so that we all know that little bit more about yourself like uh yeah so see i completed my bachelor's in 2002 or uh, 2020 and from pune university and then i started my journey with zensal technology okay where i worked for 2.7 to 1.8 years mm. i joined as a junior software engineer and i got a promotion i got a, uh, there was a, there was i was like software engineer and then i got a offer from the moody's rating and then i joined there as an associate software engineer i worked there till like 1.5 years and then uh, i got offer from the best buy i joined as a hd2 here and since last one month i'm working in best buy when you were in service based company and then you decided no i have to switch what was your preparation strategy what challenges you faced so could you please get us through on yeah. that journey first service based to product based Yeah. So first of all, uh, like see, uh, there is some story behind that. So I was in uh, Zensa, so it's a work from home. So I was at my home and I was working. Then I realized, no, actually, I have to shift to Pune, you know, tech, uh, IT tech hub city, so that I can get to meet, I get to know more things. Like I, I will meet people, and then I will, I will get to know the things that I don't know. Like I'm not learning from my home. So what I did, I shifted to Pune, and yeah, the and I just met with my friend. She was working in a city bank. Okay, then uh, she told told me like, what's the product based company and the service based company work? Okay, so we don't have to work for the client. We have our own application, so we will get a free hand to work on that. So I realized, okay, that's a difference. Actually, I got to know. So I started preparation. Like it took me around uh, like five to six months so for for the DSA. It took like two to three months to complete that. Okay, I have never completed advanced level, but i know like uh, i can complete till graph or till trees okay and after that uh, i took some courses on java 8 11 and uh, the later on features okay and the spring boot uh, courses and then uh, like i started all uh, go, going to the system design because initially when i uh, i started giving interview okay so they were asking the question on the system design i thought i never prepared that actually i thought maybe it will be uh, like only dsa and the Like old Java or Spring Boot and all. So then I started working on the system design. I just taken a random video on the YouTube. So uh, like I have prepared for few like nine ten questions and then I started uh, searching out. Okay, so it took me on uh, six till five to six months and then uh, for the company for okay. So what I did actually I I just applied from LinkedIn, Nokri. Uh, yeah, these two app uh, like platform I was using. So day in a daily basis I was applying ten to fifteen jobs. Okay. by looking into the job description and all okay and then uh, yeah and one more thing i was doing for uh, i each and every company i went on the official website there is a join our community uh, option is there i just put my resume there so because of that uh, some uh, some uh, hr got my resume from their internal portal and they called me okay and same for moody's also i guess i applied that and i just got a call and few other uh, product based company so can you just tell like okay to other engineers now who are in service based or who is in college what's the difference you find out in service based and product based uh, yes definitely actually is a big difference actually service and uh, product based uh, but but few service based is also good uh, good a uh, good company okay they provide a good opportunity to the uh, like uh, like professionals okay so i will tell you the major difference like when you join a service based company so we have to work for the client okay mm -hmm. so like whatever the client decide whatever their requirements are okay first uh, they will discuss and we will uh, uh, then uh, it will come to our plate like okay you have to do this and all okay and we are not getting a free hand to work on uh, anything okay whatever the requirements are coming we have to work and there is a very strict like uh, timings also like you have to work for uh, whatever the times they decide like for if a client want to uh, want to like uh, uh, invite a meeting at after 8 pm or 9 pm we have to do it okay there is no other chance like we cannot say no okay and also uh, major is pay actually in service based yeah we know like they pay very less okay but in product based we this is in product based we, this is our application 
whatever the good for the application we have to do it we have to uh, make make it and we are getting a free and like what, whatever you choose we have we will pay whatever the license you need we will give and the pay is very good yeah so that's the thing and there is no timings okay if you want if just they need they want uh, like work is done that that's fine there's nothing okay and for the students who are still uh, like doing their engineer uh, their engineering college okay so they can uh, start thinking of going into the product based so start preparing for the DSA uh, system design. See, nowadays is like companies are expecting more from the freshers. Mm -hmm. In our times, in like I pass out in two zero two zero. Okay, so at that time, my interview was like they asked them uh, uh, OSI model, data, uh, database questions, queries, and all, and basic uh, DSA questions. Okay, so that time interview was a little bit easy, but nowadays like we have a lots of uh, YouTube free free videos. And there's a GPT and also the expectation from the fresher is uh, 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 quite a lot. Like uh, they need some, like uh, fresher should know these things. Okay. And also service page is uh, not a bad company. They also provide the opportunity. It's like, it's depend on your project and it's depend on your manager and it's totally depend on your client. Okay. Also one more thing, service based uh, is, has three months notice period, right? Might be, you might also have that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. does Moody wait, waited uh, for you like three months or like, you negotiated something or what happened? Uh, see, I uh, like, I, I told my, so HR called me. Okay. So I said like, uh, I can get an early release. Okay. Yeah. I have a 90 days. Okay. I can get an early release. Okay. Like 45 or 60 days. Okay. So they scheduled my interview because 90 days, if the HR is saying there's a 90 days, they will never call you. Uh, okay. Will. We have to think in other way around. Okay. So what I did, I just got uh, like in Nokri, I've updated like I have a 60 days. Okay. Yeah. Honestly. Okay, you have to do it. Okay, so Everybody I got a call. Like yeah. yeah, I got a call. I just told my uh, like HR. Okay, so it's a, I can get early release. It's a sixty days only. Okay, so yeah, they scheduled my interview. Then I, after clearing, I was like, okay, just get, uh, let me get an offer. Okay, then what I uh, so this one suggestion my friend have give, given. Don't say initially like okay, you have a ninety days. I cannot join on sixty. Okay, wait till the uh, notice period is very close. Like suppose it's sixty days. Okay, now it's 45, 48 days. Just call to HR. Just can you please increase your uh, yeah. uh, uh, like uh, notice period for two weeks? I have some problems and all. Uh, so nothing. Mm. Give some general reason. Okay. So if they have waited for 45, 50 days for yeah. waiting on for more than like next two weeks, this okay. That's fine for them also. Okay. So in that scenario, I manage those things. Okay. But yeah, so you have to tackle those situations very carefully because uh, yeah. And one more thing, when you, when your notice period is very close, you will get a lots of call for the, from the company. Okay. So you can tackle the situation in your way. Okay. This is my personal uh, way to tackle it. Okay. That was so amazing. yeah, this, uh, this is the solution I will give. Nice one. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for letting us know, man. And also now the, once you started switching, uh, once you have switched to Moody's, and now 1.5 years, I think you spent in the Moody's and yeah. now your overall experience become four years now in yeah, more correct. than four years. Yeah. Now you decided that, okay, let's switch it again. So now what's yeah. the difference? Now you're applying for SD2. Earlier you were like SD1. Now what's yeah. the difference you find in the process first and how you adapt it in your preparation also? Okay, uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Actually, I will say so. Initially, what I thought, okay, let's uh, like uh, I was searching uh, like for uh, like HD two level job. So like I got a few interview calls initially. So same thing happened. Like the that the thing is like first DSA, it's a mid level. This uh, like we cannot uh, have a easy easy thing there. They never ask. Okay, so yeah, so I've given the first round. There's a DSA. And the second round was system design. It's a completely, uh, my mind got blown off because of seeing the, like what, I, what they're expecting. Like they need a, like database design. They need consistency. They need, uh, they need uh, some like high level design, like uh, lots of things are there. So I was like, okay. So in my current uh, project, I was not uh, that much aware of it. Okay. So I took some time. I decided let's make a plan. Let's uh, see some interview reviews. Okay, on lead code on any other uh, platform. Okay, I've gone to the uh, every platform. I see. Okay, uh, we have to first uh, again uh, do the DSA and the system design. There's some uh, like definitely uh, like I saw your videos. Okay, but uh, I got a suggestion from my friend, from my junior. Like this one, uh, Shayan Jain video. He he really. Uh, uh, teach very well okay 
So I took a subscription from the YouTube. Okay. So I started pl doing planning. I was doing DSA. I started on system design. Okay. Then I later on, I, when I just, uh, given, uh, when I started giving the interview, then I've cleared the first and the second round with the second, third round was a technical round. And those guys are asking in Java, cold Java, very depth, like, uh, uh, memory management and Java eight and what are the things? Okay. Then I thought, okay, maybe uh, your, your playlist is there Java. So I started watching that. And honestly speaking, more than 60% of the question they have asked from your playlist, 60%. Okay. So, uh, then I, because of that, I cleared the, like I said, I, I, got, I, I was having offer from American Express, uh, Nike, uh, Best Buy. And luckily, like I, in PayPal also I've given the interview, but from the last round I rejected, okay. but yeah, but uh, definitely uh, your playlist helped me a lot and the Striver playlist. Yeah, so these two playlists, I uh, watched it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Uh, one question, man, like you had offer from American Express also and yeah. Best Buy also, definitely Best Buy is also good company, but mm. why, what's thing you uh, take, took into the parameters like, no. I don't want to join American Express. MX is a very big company, right? Yeah. And uh, I just want to know your view. Yeah. So uh, see, the first, I will say like uh, when uh, I just uh, clear the Best Buy, so I got to know like uh, Best Buy is established, establishing a company in uh, India, like since uh, last year they have uh, started their business in India. Okay. So it's a pretty much uh, new company in India. So I got to know like for, I had a call with a manager with from the Best Buy. So I got to know what exactly I will do. I will uh, start the application. I have a clear picture exactly what I have to do there. Okay. In American Express, uh, it was like I've cleared the round. Okay. So it was kind of a bulk hiring, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So these are the things. So in American Express, I don't have a clear picture. Okay. They are hiring for the multiple projects. But in Best Buy, I have a clear picture like what exactly I have to do. So okay. this, okay, I, I make my mind. Okay. This is a thing. And the second is pay, uh, Best Buy was paying very good amount. So, and the American Express, yeah, paying very less. So these two things was the major thing I realized, okay, let's go for the Best Buy, okay. And it's a retail based, so I will get to know, work on the real time application, real time data is coming and I have to work on it. So that's a, a major uh, advantage for my, uh, like uh, working area and it will give up uh, like, like brand in the God. best place also could brand. The companies which comes to you is like the same process you were applying through LinkedIn and Nokri like previously, or now with over the time you have used some other techniques of, uh, for applying the job. Uh, so see, uh, now actually I've used, uh, like LinkedIn, Insta hire, uh, Nokri and somewhat well found or other platform also. Okay. So, but majorly calls I got from the Nokri and the LinkedIn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this time what I did, uh, first of all, make your resume it, like uh, very simple, no need to add fancy things. Okay. It should be clear visibility, like what exactly you're doing. Okay. Don't add uh, many points of work in working experience. So three, four points is enough. Skill set. See, first of all, HR will take your resume. He will see the skills. Okay. He will not see work experience and all. Okay. What exactly you're doing in the company. Yeah. Job description. He will see, she will see she or he and see what are the things are matching. If the thing 60% or 70% matched. Okay. Uh, she will send she or he will send this resume to the hiring manager mm -hmm. and hiring manager will see your resume. Okay. So it should be like what I did. I mentioned my skill set and I added few points in my achievements. Okay. So achievements and the skill set, he was like highlighted. So he saw uh, most of the things are clear that time only. So I got a call from this. I guess I got a call from the Walmart, uh, Oracle, and uh, like what we say, Palo Alto Networks. So this bigger, uh, bigger, and from the Google also I got a call. Okay. So because of the resume, make your resume perfect. Okay. And while applying, please see that what are the requirements in the job description. Okay. Don't apply blindly. Okay. Because uh, applying also it took take time two to three minutes. Okay. Don't waste it. Just see the job description, year of experience, then apply because so you haven't college. passed referral. You just apply on the portal. Yeah, apply. No. Yeah. There's a referral also. So in LinkedIn majorly what I did, I have, I listed down the uh, company's name. Okay. So what I did, I have connect, uh, I just sent a connect, uh, connection request to those guys who are working on those company. And then I just send a message. Okay. Uh, there's a job opening in this, uh, your company. I just need a refill. So they in, like in that company, I send it for the, uh, I send message to the 10 people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will get a reply from one or two. Okay. And they will refer me. This okay. it happened. You, we have to send it. Okay. Correct. So in that way also, I got a many call. Okay. Refills.
Okay, got it, got it. I yeah. understood now. And just for like one more minute on the interview preparation part, the DSA which I am thinking must be the same. What you have done from your service to like the same thing, you ju just might have done a refresh in this time. Oh, uh, uh, no, same thing. I guess it's the same thing. No, same no, thing, right? just till piece graph and DP. That's a, a thing only till that. Uh, Why I am asking not... is because generally the perception is like okay in lead code I have to do hundred, three hundred, five hundred question. Like so, were you also like doing like I have to solve seven hundred. Here I use my mind. So I use GPT. Okay. I just filter out the questions that are asked frequently in a product based company. Okay. So I listed down like uh, uh, 50 to 100 questions. Okay. I prepared them. And honestly speaking, 80% uh, of the question asked from that list. Oh, nice. Okay. Man. So yeah, you use a uh, Gen AI tool very uh, for the job searching and the, for the preparation. It will help you a lot. Okay, Got so it. that's a big, biggest thing happened like for me. And also the salary part, right? Uh, so from service base to till now, generally, yeah. what do you suggest? How generally an engineer should do negotiation with an HR? Okay, so uh, see, first of all, like I will tell my Zensa uh, to Moody's. Okay. So what uh, that time I don't know about the salary part exactly what companies are giving. Okay. So like I understood like never ask 100% to the HR. Okay. It will uh, see like you are only changing for the money. Mm -hmm. HR know you want money, but the thing is like just ask, ask 60 to say 65%. Okay. Initially just uh, try to get 60, 70%. Okay. Once you get the offer, this is not the only one offer you will get. Okay. If you are, uh, then take this offer and for the next company, try for the better one. Okay. And then while joining, like before 15 or 20 days, just call HR. Like I have offer of this amount. Okay. Can you, uh, I, uh, like I just need more. Okay. So in that scenario, we will get, uh, definitely if there is a requirement, then HR will match your, uh, salary. Okay. So in that way. And the second thing, what I did. I just went to the glass door and ambition box. I see what exactly they are paying for the particular mm -hmm. position and the year of experience. Okay. So because uh, you like by watching that, I will get to know like uh, this much amount they are giving. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will try to negotiate with the uh, HR like, okay, see, uh, I just gone to the online uh, portals and I got to know for this ex much experience, you're paying this much amount. Okay. So in that way you can negotiate with her like, okay, can you get me the, uh, can you just give me those, uh, uh, that uh, can match the CTC or particular amount. So yeah, so in this uh, scenario, but don't go for like 100 and 150% asking before, just get an offer and then uh, slowly step by step, just negotiate it, you will get it. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. A... Got it, got it. Cool, man. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much from my side. I have tried to cover everything from my side. Yeah, but okay. if anything, maybe any questions which my... Uh, which other engineers had, which I forgot to ask. Uh, I will share your LinkedIn profile in the description section. They might okay. reach out to you through message. So that would be fine, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. I can, I can help anyone. Okay. Sure. Just reach out to me. My uh, LinkedIn profile. Also like you have anything to say, but I haven't asked that question. If that, if there is like, uh, yeah, definitely go ahead, man. Uh, I guess you have covered, uh, like, uh, all of the, like, area i will say okay like if uh the well, who are watching this video okay have the question they can reach out to me or you can they can comment on the youtube okay there if i'm seeing that i, I can reply on that sure. okay yeah. thanks a lot and thanks again for uh, yeah. joining the podcast man yeah thank you